हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिस चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मैग्नेटिक फोर्स एंड लॉरेंस फोर्स लेट्स एगेन हियर वी टेक एन ऑब्जर्वेशन फॉर डिफाइनिंग मैग्नेटिक फोर्स taking an electrical circuit here a battery having emf e is connected to a resistor having resistance r and a key k to that of electrical circuit so electric current flow throughout that of circuit let i be the electric current when a steady current is passed since we apply the potential differentiator as battery so the nature of the current will be steady means dc current there will be no change of current with respect to time that steady current passed through the circuit in which circuit contains a battery having emf e resistance r and kk then the current i produces a field which exerts force on the moving test charge if uh, we take out that key there will be no force on that of moving test charge look at that point that current i produces a field which exerts force on a moving test charge but when we replace that key or we can say we take out that key there will be no force on that of moving test charge means what happened here the force on a moving test charge arises due to the current in that of circuit the force which arises due to the current in the circuit sorry the force arises due to the motion of charge
in presence of steady current. is called the magnetic force. That force which arises due to the motion of charge in the presence of steady current is called magnetic force. Here, as we consider that circuit which produces steady current, so we can say in the presence of steady current, the force which arises due to the motion of the charge, that type of force is known as the magnetic force. There will be a basic nature of charge when a charge is at rest, or we can say the stationary charge creates electric field, but when that charge moves that creates magnetic field associated with that of electric field. Okay. So, what should be the magnitude and direction of that of magnetic force? If plus Q charge moving with velocity V vector in a uniform magnetic field B vector such that B vector makes an angle theta with that of velocity vector. So, x, y, z, the direction of magnetic field that is B vector. positive charge moves with the velocity v vector that creates an angle theta with v vector. Now, we can resolve that vector component as v cos theta, here v cos theta, here v sin theta the charge plus q will experience a sideway force f vector because of the interaction between the magnetic field b vector and the magnetic field produced due to the moving charge plus q. As we discussed here, when a charge moved, it creates a magnetic field. So, here we apply the magnetic field B and that plus q charge produces a magnetic field. In this way, a force will be experienced that plus charge, that plus Q charge. And experimentally, the force experienced by that charge will be regarded as in experimentally the 
that force experienced is directly proportional to the charge. If the amount of charge increases accordingly, the force experienced will be increased. That force is directly proportional to the charge. And again, the magnitude of the component of the velocity acting perpendicular to the direction of that of applied magnetic field that is V sin theta. The force directly proportional to the V sin theta component. And again, that force directly proportional to the magnitude of strength of the applied magnetic field. If the strength of that field increases, then the force experienced is increased. If that one decreases, then force experienced decreases directly proportional to magnitude of that of magnetic field strength. Now, combining these three equations, we have we have the magnitude of that force is directly proportional to Q V b sin theta. If we replace that proportional, we can use a proportionality constant. So, a vector is equal to k q v b sin theta or here k which is the proportionality constant and its value is equal to 1. So, a vector is equal to q v b sin theta. In vector notation, we have that force a vector is equal to q v b sin theta that is v vector cross b vector. That force is known as that force is known as magnetic Lorentz force. Magnetic Lorentz force and the direction to that of magnetic Lorentz force is always perpendicular to the plane containing v cross b vector. This is the cross product of two vectors. So, the resultant will be v b sin theta n cap and the n cap that is the unit vector perpendicular to the plane containing v vector and b vector. And the direction of v cross b, here the direction of v cross b can be found out various methods as right hand thumb rule, right hand thumb rule or right handed screw rule. 
राइट हैंडेड स्क्रीव रूल और फ्लेमिंग्स लेफ्ट हैंड रूल लेफ्ट हैंड रूल बाय यूजिंग एनी वन ऑफ दिस रूल वी कैन फाइंड फाइंड आउट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ भी क्रॉस बी लुक यार हाउ दिस रूल्स आर हेल्प अस टू फाइंड आउट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ भी क्रॉस बी इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दैट मैग्नेटिक लॉरेंस फोर्स लेट वी प्रीफर फ्लेमिंग्स लेफ्ट हैंड रूल स्ट्रेस the thumb first finger and middle finger in such a way that these three are mutually perpendicular with each other look here in the figure that is the thumb this is the first finger that may be the middle finger here the middle finger points the direction of velocity or in case of conductor we can say that is the direction of electric current and first finger first finger points the direction of magnetic field then obviously the thumb represents the direction of force in this way we find out the direction of v cross v we have to stress the thumb first finger and middle finger of left hand side in such way that these three are mutually perpendicular with each other then if the first finger represents the direction of magnetic field middle finger represents the direction of velocity or direction of current then the thumb represents the direction of force means the resultant of v cross b this is the fleming's left hand rule in similar pattern we can use right hand thumb rule also stretch our right hand in such way that the first finger represents magnetic field middle finger represents the velocity or current then obviously the thumb represents the force the resultant of force the direction of resultant of force again for right hand screw rule look at the pen here if that one be the vector v vector that one be the vector b vector b vector i point the pen here our task is to find out the direction of v cross b means v to b i rotate that pen from v to b v to b it creates the anti clockwise scenario in case of anti clockwise scenario that screw is outwards that screw is outward and that outward is nothing that is the direction of force again if we take it from b to b b to b vector as b cross b b cross b b cross b means it will be in the clockwise scenario in case of clockwise scenario that screw goes inwards 
that inward is nothing that gives the direction of the resultant force. In this way, these three rules are used to find out the direction of V cross V means the direction of magnetic Lorentz force. So, with the help of this video lecture, we understand what is magnetic force and the magnitude and direction of that magnetic force which is known as the magnetic Lorentz force. This is the magnitude that is the direction these are the methods by using any one of these methods we can easily find out the direction of V cross V means the direction of resultant force. So, with this useful uninformative notes let me wind up this session. Thank you.